Now looking at the Statue of Liberty and understanding what this statue is all about, it really is a sun goddess representing Semiramis. And you can see up above her is the rays, the sun rays. And you can see the similarity between Hera um, and uh, the facial characteristics of Hera and the Statue of Liberty. Look at Europa, another goddess with the adornment like Hera and the sun rays depicted. So look at that face and understand that that face is very similar to the same goddess. And so all of these goddesses, root, their roots are uh, a Semiramis here. And as you see the coin here, look at the uh, nose and the brow. Uh, here is a depiction of Semiramis, beautiful sculpture. And Semiramis is Nimrod's wife. Uh, going back all the way to Babylon. Now, Frederick Augusta uh, Bartoli is the Freemason who designed that sculpture. And you can see his re Freemasonic roots. The base of the Statue of Liberty has uh, the square and the compass of Freemasonry. This was a gift of the French Freemasons to the American Freemasons. Now, you look at the sun goddesses depicted in the past. This is Baal worship, and you can see the sun goddess. Now all of these goddesses and the depictions of the uh, uh, sun rays on the head. Going into Venus, Venus Columba was a goddess of the Romans. You can see here on this album cover she's holding a light uh, of enlightenment uh, at the top. I believe that these spikes are a representation of the sun. You also see this uh, shell, uh, shell oil uh, as an example of the use of that shell. Uh, also, the uh, Vatican has the shell example as well. Here's Venus Columba, and you can see the similarity between that coin depiction, Roman coin depiction, and uh, how they stand here as well in these coins. The Bank of England, uh, this is an insult to us hoarding money and giving us food in this case, but uh, nonetheless, it's a goddess. Now we have uh, more depictions. Here's Columbia pictures. So Venus Columba, where we get Columbia, and then also the Colombian faction of the Illuminati, uh, as I described earlier. And we have here uh, showing her the with the torch of enlightenment and adorned in this robe. Funny thing is, I noticed that the hand itself is more masculine, and so it always makes me wonder uh, if they're putting androgyny uh, in plain sight here. And I couldn't get a real clear image of this, but it looks a little bit larger uh, than what it should be. But anyway, I might be seeing things, but uh, I just noticed that. Look at the stepped pyramid and the pedestal here. This is one of the, the original logos of Columbia Pictures. Clearly a pyramid here with the Torch of Enlightenment. And then we have Co Columbia Calls, uh, which is now uh, uh, getting you to enlist in the American Army. So they understand that it is a goddess that they're uh, going. Now here's a depiction of Semiramis in Hollywood movies, and you see the crown depiction with the sun rays, appropriate and understanding that they need to do that. Moving on to Lucifero, and you see the torch of enlightenment and the sun rays, and therefore you see Marilyn Manson with these daggers representing that. You have skull and bones up above. Oh, a lot of occult symbology there. And then Lady Gaga with her halo looks like sun rays done in a hairdo. This is a Masonic description of the same goddess. Looks like Mary of the Catholics. And you see the triangle up above, enlightened triangle. You see the beehive and the uh, pillars of Freemasonry. You also see now Mary of the Catholics. Mary is not to be worshipped, and she even calls Jesus her Lord and Savior. And so they have deified Mary in this fashion. Moving on. And then you look at a memorial next near the 9-11 uh, site, and uh, what look may look like a uh, Statue of Liberty is not. looks more like Mary in this case, and you have... Uh, the sun ray behind her and her holding the Twin Towers. This was a ritualistic event, and I really hope you can understand when you went through the 9-11 version uh, uh, to show you uh, with the pet goat and all that. So we have the goat Baphomet and the Luciferian torch up above. Prometheus 
and that whole ritual, which is the Olympic ritual, is Prometheus' uh, ritual of running and uh, stealing fire or wisdom and enlightenment from the gods. And so that is done every two years, winter and summer Olympic Games. Now you can understand Prometheus the movie. The ship was named Prometheus, so it went out and was stealing knowledge from the gods. And uh, that was a very strange movie um, to understand what was going on. Uh, here's the Colossus and the similar depiction of the sun rays. Moving on with torches, torches and Freemasonry, the torch on the back of the U.S. dime and used in education. Now we'll move on.